Founded in the beautiful Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina, the Western Carolina Teachers College was begun in 1889. It is surprising to note that in the rural surroundings of this small college, the second building erected on campus was for the instruction of music and art. This fundamental philosophy of enlightenment through the fine and performing arts still stands as a cornerstone of the university mission and its dedication to the mountain people of the region. In line with these philosophies, the first band was begun in 1938 and has lived a vibrant life of service and fellowship in the Blue Ridge Smokies. Since that time, the Pride of the Mountains Marching Band has established a reputation throughout the Southeast and the nation as an innovator in outdoor pageantry. Their exhibition shows provide not only tremendously exciting productions for our many spectators, but also opportunities for our future music educators to receive hands-on experience in teaching. Many things set the pride of the mountains apart from the typical university marching band. Style is a major factor. We have become one of the leaders in the use of electronics as a part of the marching band. This has opened up many opportunities, not only in the choices of music to perform, but also has opened up the band to guitarists, keyboard players, bassists, vocalists, and even electric violin. Every major area in the music department is represented in the pride of the mountains. Another distinctive and perhaps the most important feature of the band is the student leadership program. The band is literally organized and operated by its members. Those students wishing to be part of the program are trained in leadership skills and the techniques required in their specific area. Members of the band fit, issue, and maintain the band's uniforms. They organize, issue, and collect the many musical arrangements the band requires. And they issue, transport, and maintain the band's large inventory of equipment. Each year, undergraduate students are selected as staff coordinators by an interview process to oversee the logistical operations of the band. These coordinators plan and operate a leadership camp, regular band camp in August, plan the band banquet, plan all trips and events, including the annual Tournament of Champions High School Band Contest. They supervise staff and oversee the day-to-day -day operations of the band for an entire year. Students also serve as drill staff and as instructors for low brass, high brass, and woodwind sections. Section leaders are selected to help every student contribute their best musically and visually. This ownership by the students is a key ingredient to the energetic rehearsals and the performances that the band enjoys. Two other special groups contribute to the organization. Our drum line has established itself as one of the finest in the nation and annually attracts highly talented and motivated students. The color guard is the auxiliary that adds emotion and color to the band's productions. The pride and the training within these two groups make them unique among university marching bands. The Pride of the Mountains was also the first marching band to give a performance and clinic at the North Carolina Music Educators Annual Conference. When Deborah and I first came to Cullowhee back in 1995, we were looking to see what we could do to build the university. And pretty immediately, we saw the marching band and the potential of that band. And so my wife and I adopted the band as our really special project, and we've not been disappointed. The Pride of the Mountains has grown both in quality and stature and has become the real ambassador of the university over the course of the years. Uh, currently, somewhere between 8 and 10 percent of our freshman class comes to Western to be in the marching band. And anywhere you go in the state of North Carolina, people talk about the Pride of the Mountains and the impact that they have. And the impact is not just at the university. We're excited about that. But through their work with the high schools, with the music educators at the high school level in the state, marching band has become a real component of music education in the high schools. 
In fact, I was able to attend the first session of North Carolina Music Educators Association where uh, our marching band was demonstrating how you can teach really great music theory in a band situation. So we're excited about the band. Uh, it is very much part of this university. It is core to where we are going. Thank you. Our mission is service. The pride of the mountain serves as an outstanding ambassador for Western Carolina University. This not only includes university service through enthusiastic support of Catamount football at pep rallies, homecoming parades, and during the games themselves, but also serving the Southeast band community as well. This type of service comes to fruition in a variety of ways. The state of North Carolina did not recognize marching band as a part of the curriculum in high school programs for 66 years. It wasn't until 2002 that a talented group of state high school and college band directors formed the North Carolina Marching Band Committee. Since that time, an official marching band adjudication system has been adopted by the Music Educators Association of North Carolina. The Pride of the Mountains has spearheaded this effort through hosting specific events. The Tournament of Champions annual high school invitational was begun in 2001 and has positioned itself as one of the premier marching band contests in the country. This showcase of elite high school bands has brought over a hundred high school units onto our campus from six states over its span. Each year there are 3,500 student performers on average, as well as over 12,000 spectators. These groups have the opportunity to be evaluated by some of the top band adjudicators in the nation. The summer months are filled with a very important aspect of our commitment to band community service. The annual Pride of the Mountains Band Leadership Symposium has numerous tracks to choose from and is presented with the purpose of improving the skills of those who serve as judges, directors, and staff for the marching band activity. This is all thanks to the wonderful help of nationally acclaimed guest clinicians each year. The student tracks include drum major and leadership sessions that have exceeded all early expectations. This comprehensive approach is over a decade old and has inspired and taught innumerable high school bandsmen. Two Western Carolina drum major alumni, Mrs. Jenny Stowers of Georgia and Mr. Bobby Lambert, assistant director of Marion Catholic High School Band, are the chief clinicians for the symposium and have implemented a strong tradition of excellence in the art of student leadership. Throughout my career as a music educator, I've been very proud of the quality of education that I received at Western Carolina University. When I returned to direct the athletic band program, I wanted to develop a style of marching band that would appeal to me as a student. The result has been a group that is woven into the fabric of the university. Innovation has become our tradition, and no one leaves at halftime. Our student body and fans embrace the band, and many stay to enjoy the post-game main event show. The Pride of the Mountains has thrilled audiences with their performances at community events, clinics, and at professional football games. Their resume includes performances at numerous local marching band contests, an Atlanta Falcons professional football game, four Bands of America regional championships, and two performances at the Bands of America Grand National Championships in Indianapolis, Indiana. With the rich traditions laid by the founding band members of Western Carolina Teaching College through today's technologically advanced university campus, the Western Carolina University Marching Band has and continues to live up to its name, the Pride of the Mountains.